According to African culture, it is believed a pastor must appear on corporate suit and a well caught air. So therefore, anyone who calls himself a pastor but refuses or chose to appear in different form, he or she will be criticized. But in the real sense, our dressing doesn't matter in the eyes of the God Almighty. What really matters is our art and that is what God is seeing. In Africa, you see a young girl chorister dressed very decent, good looking to, to sing for God in the church. Don't be surprised on her way coming back from that same church, she may decide to branch her boyfriend's house. This shows that dressing doesn't really matter because most Christians do use it to deceive the world. African countries are fond of missing up their cultures and traditions on God's ways. In this very video, I'll be presenting to you the secret behind Pastor Jimmy or Dukaya Estai. But before I move further, if you are new in this channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is published. At this moment, let's proceed into the main video. Immediately, Pastor Jimmy Odukaya emerged as the senior pastor of Fountain of Life Church, Abuja. Non-believers and some believers started criticizing him about his hairstyle, dreadlock. He was actually queried for his choice of hair. But reacting to the queries, Jimmy Odukaya said, God called me the way I am, just I am. As for my dread, the story behind it is long. Everything I do is backward by scriptures. If you tell me something, I will tell you let's check the scriptures. If someone says, if long hair is wrong, I will tell you to check the Bible where the Lord do something not to cut his hair. Speaking about his facial hair, he backed up his appearance by stressing that Jesus himself had a bird which was pulled when he was being crucified. Therefore, his bird cannot possibly be sinful. He said when people say, oh, he's a pastor and has a bird. Remember, the Bible said that when Jesus was tortured, his bird was pulled from his face. If he didn't have a bird, what air did they pull from his face? Was it a fresh skin? Would the guy charge people to distinguish personal preferences and opinion from sin? Because they are not always mutually exclusive. Personal opinion is different from sin. If you like short hair or long hair, no problem. But if you tell me that I can't have long hair because it is a sin, my brother, that is where we won't agree. He said, Long hair is wrong. Take Bible and airports. You say God tells Samson, make you not cut hair now. That Bible now. God tells Samson, make you not cut hair now. Okay. So that means hair. Hey, long hair, so you bad thing. Over. Say, Pastor, you get beard. Oh, you get that. But that's what Bible talks say that Jesus, when they, they, they torture him, they, 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 they pull the hair from his face. So if you don't get beard, which, which hair did he pull? You see my son? Oh, the Pastor, you know, uh, the Pastor, he did wear a ring as a everybody. Can do whatever they want to do. Personal opinion, different from say it's in a sin. <laughs> if you like long hair, no problem. If you like short hair, feel free to drop your comment at the comment box. And once again, this is One S TV. This channel is dedicated in bringing to you latest news update about Nigerian celebrity and politicians. You can support us by subscribing to our channel, like our video, comment and share. Whenever you forget to turn on the bell notification icon to get notified whenever a new video is published. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.